Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to Sparrow Falls. First things first, apologies for the slight hushed tone of my voice. I'm uh, having to record this when uh, the rest of the family are tucked up in bed, so I'm being a little bit quiet. Um, but uh, this is something I've wanted to show you for a little while now actually. Uh, I've only been able to manage to sit down and record something that I wanted to do. Uh, first of all, this isn't a park of my own. Uh, whoops, this, this is remembering the controls. Uh, this isn't a park of my own. This is a community build uh, from the Geekers and Communities. These are people who are fans of the channel uh, decided to get together and start building a park of their own. Uh, I've said that I'd like to pop in here every now and again and have a look at, uh, at what they're doing, basically. So here it is. It's called uh, Sparrow Falls, which is... Um, uh, obviously a bit of a homage to my surname which is Sparrow uh, I'm very honored that they've chosen to call it that and uh, it is a very much a work in progress and it's being passed around uh, I think everyone gets a few days and it gets passed on to somebody else so uh, so obviously lots of things sort of in, in progress here but uh, I thought it'd be a nice idea to show uh, the larger geekers and community uh, what they've been up to so we've come in here then uh, decided to go for the um, this is the Alpine Bayern isn't it I think um, yeah it's the same as uh, yeah, same as Pinewood, yeah it is. And to start off with, at least they've gone for a bit of a Pinewood Hills feel, uh, although I think they're going to be a little bit more themed. Uh, they're deciding on uh, theme areas to build, but we start off with uh, a really nice bit of Nietzsche here, uh, using some terrain and uh, height variations and some low bushes there, nice and easily maintained, no climbing signs, love those. Uh, loads of little ideas I've already seen on this that that I'm going to be uh, robbing <laughs> uh, for myself. Then we've got a lovely uh, boardwalk area here around uh, a larger lake. They've done a, a similar idea to our uh, own billboards in Pinewood. I, I'm assuming somebody will be working on those in the future. Uh, but a really nice sort of lake area. And then we come up to this gorgeous sign, um, the Sparrow Falls logo, where we have a, a silhouette of a sparrow there. Uh, and the O is an egg. How good is that? And O, the O is a neck, an egg in a nest. Really, really lovely stuff. There's some great bit of signage here on the floor as well. Like tickets, tickets holders, seasonal passes, uh, and other tickets as well. And you can come down here. You've got your ticket booths on either side, and some queue screening as well. Really lovely stuff. Over here, we've got uh, what looks like a few work in progress type buildings. This is sort of like a bit of a graveyard of stuff that's getting used at the moment. Um, I think this is somebody's working on this for the main streets. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we've got a few other bits over here. The sign is there to be uh, reused as uh, which is so so fit and some office furniture which is gorgeous but i'm going to show you that uh, actually used where it is so we come here then through our entrance here and we'll come stooping down into the main area we've got some lovely little ideas here an area with some park maps in which are fantastic and over here we'll have some ride times as well uh, the only rules they have i believe are there's no dlc uh, able to be used so that everyone can play uh, even if they're not um uh, DLC owners so no DLC but apart from that I think uh, there's no rules I love uh, some of the water sprinklers up here look looking after uh, the foliage around the back of the sign and also the detailing up here is fantastic uh, into the uh, the various sort of staffing areas we've got some uh, some scaffolding and some um, uh, sort of hazards areas here to cover up piping and electricals like that. Look at this great use of some of the sci-fi pieces here. Uh, this is all one big building uh, and inside here this really shocked me when I came in. Like I said this is apart from a few minutes I looked around before this is real my first good look around here but look at this we have a security office uh, down here so this is where you come for you know various sort of products there's a few things for sale as well there's also a crash here for any lost kiddies how good is this we have a lost child area so here we go lost there's a lost and found so if you've if you've lost your trumpet or your pipe or your hat you can come and collect it from here uh, and then we have a crash here uh, or a crash depending on where you're from um, oh, this is so good. Love the use of the art shapes and the chief beef sign there as well. Um, some other great signage uh, around here. Uh, the detail, the attention to detail here is fantastic. These co-tucks are great. Uh, we've come through here into the, uh, the staff area. Uh, there's some pallet trucks. There's a little kitchen area here. Look, and then we have this amazing security office. Look at this. Look at these office chairs. Absolutely stunning. Wanted posters. <laughs> Such a nice touch. I love this office furniture, office chairs, and the use of the screens here to create a security office. And I'm, uh, I know for a fact that once uh, once the park's a bit more filled out, somebody is going to come around and take screenshots of the park uh, at these sort of angles you would find cameras. 
cameras and place them up onto the screens. Absolutely stunning work. Uh, stunning work by a selection of people. Um, so apologies for not knowing exactly who's done what. We've got some turnstiles over here, looks like, being worked on, which is great. Uh, so at the moment, the people who've worked on the park are uh, Archetype, uh, Designy JST, Mastermelon Susie, uh, also known as Immortal, and Wishing on Wendy have done this fantastic bit of work. Uh, there's a toilet over here. I'm assuming uh, some of this stuff is still being edited in, uh, but we've got some, uh, some fencing here around to the rear entrance. Uh, where we've got some awesome little look at those made with no DLC pieces. They're really great. I mean, the ones we've done in Pinewood uh, use a bit of the uh, bit of the car DLC, but they've managed to do a really great job there, just using art shapes. We also have uh, a teddy bear with crazy eyes. <laughs> uh, there's your teddy bear there for giveaways. Fantastic. And then over here we've started. We've got a carousel as we enter. Really classic uh, sort of fitting here with the carousel. I believe that somebody's working on the carousel skin next, uh, and then we begin on our main street slightly more theme this has been built by Susie this is the most recent addition she's just passed the park on to me to have a little look around it and um, really gorgeous stuff she's put here down that it's Sylve inspired um, she said it's very much inspired by one of Sylve's building but I think uh, Syl uh, Susie you've done a great job on there adding your own touches to it as well I love the windows especially these ones here on the uh, on the pillar and then building number two has begun although it's not quite finished like I said I had to sort of stop her mid uh, mid flow to be honest with you and say give me the park because I've got 10 minutes to do a little recording of it so there you go Sparrow Falls if you would like to be a part of it I know they're really quite full and they've got quite a few people waiting to have a go uh, I think but there is a link to the uh, the Geekism Discord in the description uh, if you click on the Geekism Discord and then inside there there's a channel called Planko Collab and that will take you through to a uh, to a, a channel where they've, uh, they're chatting about uh, what they want to build and uh, and all things like that like I say eventually maybe if I get a bit of free time I'd love to come and plonk something down here myself uh, but at the moment it's, I'm very much hands off here I'll just be popping in every now and again to have a look at how they're getting on but what a fantastic Start, I'm sure you'll agree. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, like I say, I'm not going to be jumping in here every week or anything like that. It's just going to be every few weeks, uh, maybe once a month or something like that, just see how we're getting on uh, over here in Sparrow, Sparrow Falls. Can't even say the name. Look, it's my bloody name. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. It really does help at the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop them down in the comments. And if you fancy chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. Thanks again for watching, and I'll uh, see you in the next one.